Get busy in here, get busy in here Yeah, my squad run deep, yeah, we really in here I swear whatever you want, you can get it in here Comedy or the drama, it's a mixture in here But you love it in here, yeah, you love it in here Got reviews up in here, we got stories in here Hit the like, hit the sub, hit the bell, oh yeah Three clicks like the shoes on Dorothy in here What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Busy Blue, and I am back, okay? What y'all do? I told y'all I will be. Now, if you are a real Busy Blue fan, you was nervous. You were nervous. You were scared. You were not thinking I was going to do it, but I did because I love Carlos King. Welcome to Carlos Corner on the Busy Blue channel. Uh, so today we are going to be recapping and reviewing The Bell Collective, Okay. A jewel on the own network. Now, the show hasn't come out yet, so I don't know if I should be calling it a jewel. But something about it just makes me feel like this is it. This is it. One, you already know that I love Carlos King. I fell in love with Carlos King when he was doing all his work for Um, uh, Let me put something over here so I can put my notes up here. But y'all know I fell in love with Carlos King, right? Um, When he was doing Real Housewives of a long time. The Real Housewives of a long time. Okay, and then it just became um, um, me loving everything that he does, like in all aspects, all kinds. I forgot that he was doing Hollywood divas. Like, I just love Carlos King. So I said, well, let the girl come through. What's going on, Andrew? What's going on, then? Um, So let me come through and review the show. And then I saw the trailer. Y'all, we already did a watch of the trailer on the last episode. So y'all, make sure y'all like the video. Carlos King has been liking my tweets. So, y'all think that Carlos King will come on my show? What y'all think? Y'all think Carlos King will come on, come on my show? First of all, that, that, will want, that will be the day that I die. For certain. For certain, that will be the day that I die. Y'all, and guess who else? I'm sitting here about to go live with y'all, right? I'm sitting here go, I'm about to go live with y'all. Girl, one of the cast members liked my tweet. I said, this is out of control. Okay, what's going on over here? Okay, what's going on over here? Her name is Tim, but we're going to get to her. But now I made me feel bad because I didn't like her story like that. But, <laughs> but we're going to get to it. We're going to get to it. So, y'all, we're going to be reviewing, we're going to be reviewing the newest show, Bell Collective, right? I'm so excited about this show. Um, as I told you before, I went over to my mother's house. I mean, my um, um, Bay's mom's house, right? And then we went to, um, basically, we went to um, just spend time with her for the New Year's ends, da da da, right? She was like, "Oh, did you see that show? Because I know you like Carlos King, right?" So I was like, "Boy, look, okay, look, well, let's put it on. Let's see what let, let's see what the girl's giving. Let's see what Carlos is giving, right?" I I, I tried to show all magic. Magic. So the show overall. So basically, I'm gonna talk about the clip that we've been able to see, right? So if you go, if you have the own network, I don't know if they have it on DVR or something like that, but I do have it on YouTube TV. Um, Carlos King in Egypt, whatever her name is. I guess she got a show, flipping houses, something. I don't know. But they came together and they talked about the new show. The new show is called Bell Collector. Y'all, just first of all, melanin. Melanin pop it. Um, melanin pop it. I'm separating from Bible for a while, so this looks good. This is going to be amazing. Okay, do all of us a favor, do yourself, do all of us a favor, watch it. So, melanin popping. It's about five black um business, oh, what was it? Business owners overall in general, but millionaire, self-made millionaire, entrepreneur women in Mississippi, okay. Jackson, Mississippi. Now, I ain't like I had too much esteem or stoop for Jacksonville, but apparently the girls are doing it out there. They said that there's new development, um, a lot of black businesses. They just took the Confederate flag down, uh, more restaurants and eateries. Like, from what the girls are saying, Jackson is on and popping. That's what I'm just telling you what, what I heard. They said Jackson was on the popping, right? So, it's about this show. The show is about all of these women coming together. Um, and really trying to make Mississippi that grow, okay? I mean, or Jackson that grow. So we're introduced to the cast one by one. Carlos talks about how he um, was introduced to the show. One of the cast members, which we'll talk about later, 
she came to him and was like, look, I got this brunch thing that I have the people pay for. And I want to know if you would like to do a show about it. And Carlos was like, that's cute. But I want to do something different. <laughs> um, and basically, this show evolved into it. And the girl didn't even want to do the show. But she ended up doing the show. And I think it's great. I think this is really good. I showed y'all already. Um, enjoy your trip. Oh, thank you so much. Um, I think the show looks great already. I'm excited about what's going to happen with it, right? So, basically, we start off with Latrice Rogers. Let me see if I can show y'all who everybody is. Um, so, we start off with Latrice Rogers. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, y'all know I ain't prepared. Hey, y'all get over it. Y'all will get over it. Did you see the first um, episode? I did not see the first episode. I watched the... I know why I can't see it. Um, I watched the first clip, right? Um, Latrice Rogers. Now, none of these people are famous, so I guess I'm not going to be able to really show y'all, show y'all like that. Thanks. Um, but this is Latrice Rogers. She was the girl who was giving me, like, fashions. Boom, fashions. Okay. Let's share screen. Um, application window, a Chrome tab. I want to see who's Latrice Rogers. Don't share audio. Boom. So this is Latrice Rogers, right? She, um, a uh, shout out to me, uh, me all. Um, but this is Latrice Rogers, right? Self-made billionaire, millionaire, da da da. Her house looked amazing. I'm gonna tell you that house looked amazing. So about Sharice, Latrice, she is. Um, uh, the number one, okay, so, okay, so, y'all ever used to watch Cutting It in the ATL? Y'all remember Maya from Cutting It in the ATL? Did anybody ever used to watch Cutting It in the ATL? It was the show. I like, I think it was going too soon, but Cutting the ATL where one of the girls, her name was Maya, right? She had this hair business in Atlanta, girl taking over the scene. Did they want to start doing all types of we gonna <laughs> bend the machine hairs and stuff like that. Latrice reminds me of Maya because they got bending machines and hair. So she um has goddess bundles, right? Goddess bundles, you can get those at your local, out your local, <laughs> your local candy machine. Your local candy machine will have goddess bundles. Now y'all know I'm in love with. Her fashions and everything she's giving me, she's a beautiful woman. But you can also pick up goddess bundles at your local bubblegum machine. All you have to do is put your money into the bubblegum machine and you can get um, <laughs> Malaysian, Remy, Indian, natural, or hair. You can get it, right? You can get it. That's, I'm telling y'all what I saw on the television screen. You can get your own stuff out of a candy machine. Um... She said her hair is everywhere. It runs Jackson, okay? She said if you can make it in Jackson, you can make it anywhere. I don't know about that, but that's what she said. She said if you can make it in Jackson, you can make it anywhere, right? So, <laughs> I'm just saying, no shade, Lynn, no shade, but she said if you can make it in Jackson, you can make it anywhere. But it's like, mm, I think you're precious. But again, I like her. I don't want to say I like her the most. I do like her the most over all of them. Um, I think somebody else has a better story that I'm really ready to get into. Um, her hair's all over the place. Uh, she got her husband, Cliff. She's been married for 20 years. She called him Zaddy. Okay. She called him Zaddy. Um, um, no, he's over 20 years older than her. Um, they've been married for a long time. She called him Zaddy. Uh, she said she started her business in a parking lot. She was selling the bubble cum, the bubble cum machine um, hair. She was selling that out of her um, trunk. And people were wrapped around like the plaza. I know the police had to be like, what is this lady selling out of her trunk? We got to pull her over because she may be selling drugs. Okay. Um, but she had lines around the corner. So she, she decided to open up her own boutique, right? Um, so now they have a product. So, and she's expanded from there. Now she, that's how she made all her money. She now is trying to go into being this with her husband, Cliff, right? 
I like Cliff. Cliff reminds me of like an older Terrence Howard type of man. Like if Terrence Howard got older, when Terrence Howard, let me kill the man off. When Terrence Howard gets older, that's what he's gonna he gonna like Cliff, just real attractive, like right. Um, so they're doing some product line, y'all, and I kid you not, they showed us footages of them doing a photo shoot. <laughs> they showed us footages of them doing a photo shoot. One girl, natural, boom, for the product line, right? Boom, natural, giving us face, mm, serving, yes. <sighs> Two other girls were also at the photo shoot. Why they lips look like that? Y'all, y'all, why they lips looking like that? I like it. Did anybody else see the clip? Y'all, the lips was all over the place. The lips were like this. It was, it was real. And I was thinking, is she, did she, hey, what's going on? Did she get in jazz? And it just looked so ridiculous. <laughs> it looked real ridiculous. Y'all remember when people started doing that Kylie Jenner lip challenge and they put their um, mouth in the bottle and that's what it looks like. And the husband was like, um, I don't know how I feel about, um, you know, the lips looking like this. I want natural, da da da, da. Y'all, I got to show y'all the lips. I, I have to. Now I have to. And I feel bad doing to people like this because I'm not trying to be ageist. Um, and I'm because I'm not an ageist. But y'all have to see it. Y'all have to see it for yourself. Let me see if I can go to my um, YouTube TV out here, y'all. Y'all probably not going to be able to see it, though. They're probably going to block it. Oh, they probably are. It, I, so I can't show y'all. I'm sorry, y'all, but it looked the best. It looked the best. Make sure y'all like and subscribe, all right? But it looked the best. It looked the full mess. So going up from there, they're going to be having problems. She's trying to go into business with her husband. He's trying to make her make right decisions. It's a whole food, right? So after that, we get to y'all. So my notes are down here. So if y'all see me looking down, I put my notes on my Mac. So they're not, I'm not on this computer. Um basically what's going on is that um what we hear about the storyline is everybody's trying to come together to fix up and change Fair Street, right? So Fair Street used to be this big, thriving, amazing um street. But throughout the years, it's kind of worn off, right? So, like, businesses aren't there as much, da da da. So, she's coming through. Um, the next person we're talking about, Trisha, she come, Tisha, she's trying to come through and really change the game, change what it looks like, da da da. Um, my whole thing so, Trisha, Leticia is the one who came with the idea that Carlos Kim was talking about. My whole thing is this, and I don't want to knock anybody who's getting their money however they want, but I don't I don't be understanding how people be making all this money, going to these brunches and signing up for it to hear the same advice you can get from the book. But I guess you can get it, I don't know, because I don't want to knock nobody's business, but that's what she started. She started women eating together, and then she making money off of women eating together. Her business is women eating together. So um, she came to Carlos with the idea, like, hey, can you watch my it's in um it's in Jackson, um, Mississippi. Um, yeah, you know I got to buzz the balance, uh balance of us. Um, so her business is women eating together. Okay, so she does a, a women eating together business and the people purchase to eat with other women. Okay. I cannot wait to watch the show. I'm telling y'all, it's so good. It's so, so, so good. I'm not even joking with y'all. Oh, uh, yo, put your bees in the comments for Patterson Bugs, okay? I'm so happy you're reviewing this. Thank you. I had no choice. I saw it, and I was like, I'm going to be there for this, okay? So let's get into Letitia's story, right? So Letitia, I already told y'all. Oh, now that I have my computer right here, I can do Letitia. Letitia run the uh, Women Eat Together business, right? Eating with women, be 
Yeah, I'll type it up. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Um, let's see if I can show y'all what the teacher look like. Um, um, because Leticia does the women eat together business, right? Um, they're not showing me her. I guess the women eat to get the business is not a business. You said it's a business, but it's the business. Let me see if I can uh, at least show the business. Um, let me just pull up the bell, uh, the bell collector thing, okay? Because they're not showing me all of the stuff that I need, okay? So we're about to make this full screen. Um, then I anyway. So Leticia. Letitia was the one that I said to y'all look like uh, Christiana's aunt. <laughs> Christiana's aunt from um, Bring It On, right? So I keep typing in here and my computer's right here. Let's go. That's why y'all rocking with me anyway. And that's what I love. It's 20 people in there. I hope y'all hit the like and subscribe. Y'all don't get views like that. So do the boy solid. Do the boy solid. All right. So. Um, yeah, anybody gonna contact me? Uh, so y'all, this is Leticia. Share your screen. Let's share this one. This Leticia, okay, this girl right here, she created the I'm gonna eat with you, uh, the I'm gonna eat with you business, right? Uh, so this is the uh, this is the I'm gonna eat with you business. This right here is the one we talked about first. The one with the um bubblegum machine um bundles, that's Latrice. Latrice does bubblegum machine bundles. You can get any of your hair out of the vending machines with and you get a soda, hot Cheetos bundles. That's how you get it in that order. Soda, hot Cheeto bundles. You get those with Latrice. Um, and then the next one is Letitia. Letitia, she started um women eat together business so the business is all the women come together and they eat food but you talk about you could you like you like people normally do you talk okay so everybody talking to each other you learn about businesses so keep it say with me Letitia does the women eat together business okay so her story basically is let me stop sharing the screen while I talk to y'all her story basically is that she started a women eat together business. She wanted to inspire everybody to come together. Really excited about them coming together. Letting little black girls and little black boys um, of all ages know, look, you can. <laughs> Yo, she said this. I'm not even joking. She said this. I wanted them to know that they could look just like me. Y'all, she had in a whole loofah dress. She had in a whole loofah dress. It's like, I don't know if you meant to say that. But I get where you're going with it, okay? Y'all could look like me. So I wanted all the people to know too, look, that you could look exactly like me, okay? So um, they came together. They want to put a uh, fair street back together. I love the, I love everything about the cause. Y'all know busy goes here for the people. Um, uh, she got her husband, Glenn. Glenn is a tow boater. Okay. I don't know what that is because I ain't never heard of one before. But let me tell y'all this Glenn be gone for 28 days and then he comes back for 14. And then he comes back again. I don't like that. I don't like that. And then, so she's like having problems with him. They were saying that they have infidelity issues, right? So he's cheated before. She's entertained men and women before. I mean, not women, but men before because of the infidelity issues, right? 
So it's a lot going on with infidelity. And they're trying to rekindle this relationship, but he gone for whole months. How you gone 28 days and you trying to have a relationship with me? Girl, if it's February, you don't even see it for Black History Month. You don't even see your whole husband for Black History Month. I don't like that, okay? So they have a son. Um, son is so adorable. He, you can tell he loves his daddy, but the, her story is about trying to rekindle this relationship. How about the man came in the house, right? And he was like, um, yo, where the food at? She's like, look, I'm working on something right now. And he was like, yeah, but I, I'm, I'm just trying to get something to eat. You got no yams in the kitchen, no yams in the bedroom. What? Why are we eating yams in the bedroom? Y'all, it was a lot. I, I got what he was trying to say because he was like, you're not even giving me no booty. I've been gone, lost that sea like Odysseus for years. Okay? And now I come home and you can't make me a sandwich. She said, she said, there's bologna in there. There's ham in there. He said, do I look like you have bologna in him? She said, well, look, what, can you please help me out? You see I'm doing something. He said, um... You want me to put an apron on because I'm doing everything. Girl, because you got to make you a whole sandwich. You're doing everything because I asked you to make a sandwich. I'm, I'm running a business here. You are here being a semen. I'm out here running a business. Okay. So I'm excited to see what this looks like. She says she's going from housewife to house um, to boss wife. And he need to catch up and get on it. Right. Um, and he needs yams in the bedroom. How many of y'all have had chai yams in the bedroom? Okay, so let's get to the next one. So I'm really excited about her. Um, uh, she's not my favorite storyline, but she just she seems as if she has a very gentle soul, and I liked her gentle soul. Okay, so this girl right here, this one right here. Oh, she look a little angry in this. Right, yeah, she does have a just so her name is Doc Doctor. Okay, Doctor Antoinette Louse, right? So let me say something about the doctor, the doctor Antoinette Louse. So Dr. Antoinette Louse. Uh Jamie B said no, no yams in the bedroom, no yams in the kitchen. It was too much. It was too much. What y'all doing the yams in the bedroom? Okay. Is he cheating or out um out and see? I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. Uh, but so basically, doc, doctor, the doctor over here, this one right here, the doctor, Antoinette Lyles, she's a dentist. Okay. She's, uh, she finished dental school, dentist, the school of dentistry at the age of 25. And her thing is trying to make sure that other African American kids want to be dentists. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I think it's very, very important. As much as my mom put money into my my dental um uh, work, I don't know if I really appreciated dentists as much. And wanting other children to grow up and be dentists, I think it was re really amazing. She graduated from school as one of the one of the four um, African-Americans who graduated during that time as well. Um, so that was really cool. Um... She's trying to open up her own dental practice. It's going to be called like Mint Dentistry or something like that, right? Um, Mint Dental, um, something like that. Because uh, she wants to support black dentists. And she, and she is saying that she's going to pay for whatever the test is that you need to be a dentist for. Um, she's going to pay for that for all of the HBCUs that are in Mississippi. And I was like, can, we, can you just add Howard University just because? Just because, can you add Howard University just because? You know what I'm saying? We talk about this girl over here. Um, Hold on. Somebody said that. Uh, she said, I liked her. Um, Oh, she's from Michigan. I didn't know where she was from. Um, I feel like dentists um, have to like hurting people. That's true. I remember y'all, story time real quick. When I was little, we used to go to the dentist who would, in order to numb us, they would put needles in our gums and my mom was like i'm so tired of seeing y'all put needles in my children's gums i gotta do something else and she then she took us to another dentist um who didn't use that process but they was like this is the only way it was getting better my mom my mom cussed them out 
and we went to another dentist, and that's when I got my braces. All right, so she's newly this one right here, Doctor Antoinette. Um, she's newly divorced. Carlos King said that she was getting divorced during when they started filming the show. Yeah, I think he was mad that he couldn't film that. What's that thing? But so she's really nervous because in the South, you have to come out of the closet saying, I'm divorced. She was really nervous about it. I don't know if she does it. Talk about needing to go to the dentist. Um, anyway, um, she said that they had some issues because she he was a white man. So she was married to having a biracial relationship was very difficult for her, right? Uh, let me take this um, screen share off right now. Um, having a biracial relationship was very difficult for her, right? So she was trying to figure out how she wants to deal with it because in South, she said that they make you choose. Um, she said that they make you choose. Are you more black? Are you more white? And she didn't want her kids to have to go through that. And when it came down to when it was time to have children, she was like, I don't know. And if we are going to have them, I don't want them here. This bad. This horrible. I don't like it. Um, but unfortunately, this is where they were going to have it. Da, 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 right. So they got into they got divorced. And now she's going through the motions of, well, my new baby, my new marriage is my business. Dentistry. She's trying to set up this building that is sticks and stones. Talk about Neverland in the leaks. It's all sticks and stones, right? Um, oh my god, blow joke. It says suicide rates among dentists higher than those of other occupations. What is going on with dentists? Answer that. We need you. Okay. But she's trying to get the building off the ground, right? Just hold it. Let me get that. That's a bad thing. Let me put my mama back on. Okay. Uh, trying to get her dental practice off the ground. It looked like sticks and stones never land. That's what was there. Okay. Dirt and grass. Okay. But she said it's going to be done in a month. She already, she already sent out the invitations. We're going to see what that process looks like. I feel like it's going to be very hectic. She also is trying to not do a rebound, but trying to get back out to get her groove back. Doctor, get her groove back. Right. Like, so she's going on this date with this man named David. Now, David, shorty, swing my way, swing it over here, shorty. You looking good, shorty, good, show my good enough for me. You looking good, shorty. David, swing it over to me. I've been watching you. David, I was watching you. And I was like, hmm. I don't know if you want to be like that with her. Come, come with me. All right. Uh, but anyway, he looked really cute. So her story is going to be about her trying to revitalize um, herself. She got a new business. She has a new life going through. And she's just saying, look, I'm here. Let's do it. I'm really excited about her. Um, because her energy is just so sweet. It's so kind. It's so caring. It's so loving. Yeah. That David is a day. Okay. All by himself. Come through. Come to me. Okay. Hey, Christopher Taylor. David is a date for sure. Y'all, I was, um, y'all remember that video I just did? Thank God. Okay, put your blowjobs in the chat again for Palace of Bugs because y'all remember that video I just did, my unboxing? I got a copyright claim from OWN Network. And I try to promote their show that nobody knows about yet. They don't want me to make no money on this service. <laughs> and nobody even know about your show yet. How you copyright claiming me? Nobody even know about your show yet. Put your beans in the comments for a pattern of bugs. Again, for the super chat, because that's the only way you can get money from me. Because the girls, I just put that video up. As you can said, why are you serious? I, girl, I wish this was a joke. I went to the liquor store to put brown liquor into that um, glass bottle. And I just got it. Girl, they struck me so fast, and I was thinking that was just two seconds ago, and nobody even watches this show yet. Anyway, I mean, intellectual property is intellectual property. I get it, whatever. Um, I can't even find a show off. I'm 
She's like, she's like, I hate the father so all by yourself. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna need to ask my boy because <laughs> that was funny. Damn. <laughs> Y'all put your bees in the comments for Christopher Taylor. Thank you so much. You're keeping this right here. Show up Oh, my God. That was far. <laughs> I'm sorry. Put your bees in the comments for <laughs> Put your bees in the comments for Christopher Taylor. Oh, my God. Okay. So, y'all, who we are? <laughs> Now we are Marie. Let's get let's get to Marie. So Marie, Marie, y'all, this one is going to be the hard one. This one gonna be the hard one, y'all. It's gonna be the hard one. It's gonna be the hard one. Thank you so much, uh, Christopher. This is gonna be the hard one, right? So this Marie, mm, this one. Let me tell you something. People don't see the mess that's going on in their own lives, but they can point it out in everybody else's. Everybody else's life, they can see here and point the finger and look at it and do, but they can't see the mess that's happening in their own lives. Uh, come, you better be giving me money, Christopher Taylor. Shout out to the shout out again to Christopher Taylor. He's gonna be in one of the episodes of Frenergy, y'all. If y'all don't have AC, um, AC Connection TV, make sure you go download it. Um, it's an LGBT like, eh, but they do all types of segments and shows like that. I like y'all know I like to support black content creators. He ain't never hit me up and asked me if I wanted to do anything, so I stop. I kind of feel some type of way about it because I do promote him, but. Chris is gonna be on it, and y'all know he's one of the busy beats from day one. From jump, from jump, from jump, from jump, from jump. Um, one of my loves. So make sure y'all go support. If y'all don't have the app, download it. You don't have to keep it for a long time. Just support you. Um, but Marie, y'all, is this lady right here, right? Who I didn't like watching her story. It was very hard to watch. So Marie. She is an individual who has opened up mental health facilities um, for youth. And, um, and you know, mental health is something in the Black community we still trying to get together. Um, mental health facilities for youth and, you know, young adults, or African-American adults, right? Or people of color, right? She's the first African-American woman to provide mental health for Blacks and youth in Mississippi, in the state, in the state. In the state, um, when you point your finger at someone else, just remember you got three fingers pointing at you. Exactly. Okay, she's one of those people. So y'all, let me tell you her story. Oh my God, it was it was too much. She sit here. She got a husband, right? This one, because I, I think she was priding herself on. I got so much going on. I got this, 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 this. Right? She has a husband. They've been married, divorced, married again. <clears throat> He's a philanderer. Okay. He doesn't know how to keep his stuff in his pants. Okay. At all. Okay. Then she got a son. She got four kids. Her oldest son, um, what's his name? Jerez. And Jerez kind of cute, so I can get it. Whatever. Fine. Sure. He got three baby. First of all, all those babies look the same. All of those babies look like they were on the same age, same time frame. Seriously. Like, baby here, baby here. He had a fertile year, and he just spread a seed around Jackson. That's what it looked like. Y'all, she's here providing for all of them, right? And I, I just told y'all, she opened up mental health facilities. Mental health facilities, okay? She getting insurance money, Blue Cross Blue Shield money. Okay, she's getting. Um, is that the only insurance company I know? That's the one y'all should have. She's getting blue. She's getting Blue Cross Kaiser Permanente money. Okay, she's getting 
insurance money. She's she has a mental health facility. Bank. This what I talk about when you mess up, put yourself because you know how a lot of people say Dorothy uh, from Roswell's Potomac, Candace's mother. Oh, she shouldn't be on a show acting like this. She's a therapist, da da da, psychiatrist. You don't want to see them act like this. Well, girl, she owns a mental health facility, and her son almost punched her in the face. She he has three different babies from three different baby mamas. They even in the caption say baby mama number one, baby mama number two, baby mama number three. He was set doing something one day, got up and was like taking the TV out. And um Marie was like, Well, where are you going? This one right here, y'all. This one right here. This one. She said, he said, Where are you going? She said, Where you going? And he said, Well, I'm going to school. And she said, well, if you do, take all your stuff and don't come back. You're over 21 years old. This is this is ridiculous. Y'all, the boy blew up on the lady. Blew up. Punched a hole in the wall. Punched a whole hole in the wall. Told her, you want that B stuff? Oh, you didn't get you tripping, da, da, da. His mother, his mother, who's taking care of all three of his babies, came, rolled up on his mother. I had to say that again, reiterate. He rolled up on his mother. Oh, you on that wax stuff? Da da da. Don't be playing with me. This that stuff that made me mad. Punched a hole through the wall. I said, no, ma'am, Pam, you won't be coming up in this house anymore, and I'm calling the cops. No, ma'am, Pam. You, this is how you're going to act? His mom, y'all, he did it to his mom. He punched a hole through the wall. They showed the hole. I'm sorry. I'm going to eat something soon. Ridiculous. Then, in the midst of that, she tried to sit here and have a conversation with him. The dad sitting down, not saying nothing, saying nothing. She's like, this is very dangerous. You know, you can, um, 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 oh no, yo, I'm sorry. Um, but, did, um, that was very dangerous. Your anger could hurt someone. He, I would like to apologize because, you know, you are my mom. Girl, this is too much. First of all, I would be dead. I would be saying that from the grave if I ever talked to my mother like that. If I ever decided to disrespect my mother like that at, at any point in my life, I would have been apologizing from the grave. From the grave. She brought me in this world. She could take me out. I feel like there's some hoodoo voodoo tricks she know, and I don't want to test it. She brought me into this world. She could take me out, and that's what I heard the rules were. I don't know. I'm not a parent. I don't know what the rules are for parents, but she said she could brought me in this world. She could take me out. So I would be dead if I ever did something like that to my mother. He's just sitting there. But you know why? Uh, he's able to treat his mother like crap. Is because the father, and we talk about this lady right here, this lady right here, the father, no respect for his wife. No respect at all for his wife. Y'all, her husband is Cedric. Now, they've been married, you know, married on uh, divorce, married again, right? She had a conversation with him, and she was like, oh, I thought I wasn't going to be able to see you because you didn't come home last night. The, what the what? What the what? Yeah, you don't. I don't like when you've been doing that. Then she was having a scene. I'm telling y'all, let me get off of this because I'm getting upset. She was having a scene sitting down with her friend. This man was is in Aruba and had been for the last three weeks without her. And she don't know what he doing. What is this new development of men deciding that they need to take vacations in relationship and not tell because this is the same thing that's going on in Ross Ross of Atlanta. What is it with these people deciding, oh, I need a break, take a break? What is it with it? And she's sitting here crying. Her friend is like, you deserve so much more than this. Why are you even sitting here entertaining this man? You are a queen. You are a queen. You are boss in every facet of your life except for this one. This is disgusting. And her husband is in Aruba. And she's sitting here telling us, 
I know what happens when he goes to Aruba women. Oh, who's dying? Because I ain't heard about man job he got. This lady right here, y'all. This lady. What's that about? And I don't like it. What y'all think about that? It's just, girl, let him go. Do yourself a favor. I didn't like it. Jamie said he spent all her money on hoes in the room. I think so. Because how you go in the room for, that's too much. And I don't like it. And you deserve so much more just for you, for you, just for you. Okay? So anyway, now we get to my girl, Tambra. Oh, she's not my girl. No shade to Tambra, right? Because I just showed y'all that she did like my comment. Okay? It's this one right here, right? This one's Tambra. Now, I don't live in Jackson. I don't know what the girls listen to out there. Boys look up to their dads, good or bad. And I feel like that's why he treat her, his mom like that because of that. Y'all, Tambra's interesting. Y'all know how uh, Tracy, uh, Trina Brax to talk? Oh, the boys, oh, my house, mm, I'm going to. Y'all know how she talk like that? And people say, her mom said, I don't know why she talk like that. Uh, Tambra's very interesting because... Her voice sounds like that. She talks like that. And I don't know if it's just the theatrics of it all, if she's just always like this. Because people always say, busy, this you, busy, this you, this how you talk. This is me all day, every day. Sorry. Okay, give me a cocktail. It's worse. I was born and raised in Jackson. <laughs> okay. Uh, I do beats in Capitol, in the Capitol. I'm a DJ. And it was just like, I don't know if she's being real or if this is the act. I mean, her, her personality is lovely, bubbly, fun, all of that. Her story is she wants to be a full-time DJ. So she's trying to really um, bump into it. She's 40 years old, though. And she hasn't had any children, any kids at all. And now her, her parents are um, pressuring her for kids. And she's like, I don't know if I'm choosing my career over parenting. Another issue that she has, though, is that she's had fibroids. Um, and y'all you, remember from Cynthia and Candy having fibroid issues, it's hard to carry and, well, not conceive, but carry. Uh, and I think she's going to need another surgery. So now she's trying to, she froze some eggs. And now she's trying to go back to her ex-man, who is okay. He he could he could get it too, okay. If he if he wanted it, he could also receive it, okay. That's what I'm saying. But um, now she's talking to him, saying, "I froze some eggs. Um, can you put some sperm?" <laughs> Y'all, okay, question. How do y'all think y'all would ask a man if you needed his sperm, what would you say to him? How would you ask, excuse me, uh, excuse me, not, I'm sorry, you look good, you smell good. Uh, can I get some sperm from you, please? Thank you. What in the She Hate Me Spike Lee movie is this? How would you ask a man, excuse me, I got some eggs in the freezer. Can I have some of your nut? Like, how would you ask that? How you ask that? Hey, bro, my next, um, that is my next show review. Was, um, I'm telling you, the show is here. Y'all, make sure y'all go subscribe to Commission Reviews. Do it right now. And I don't want to hear nothing less. Um... How do you ask a man for some nut? Like, what do you say to him? But now I don't, I don't want to have XEX with you. 
but can you can you please give me some of your sperm for my eggs in the freezer? What do you say? It's just a lot. It's a lot. I want to like her, but her voice. <laughs> so I said, give me some sperm, sign this NDA. I like that. I think it's very official. It's very, it's a very official. Okay, it's very, 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 very official. Did you see my own TV interviews? I'm so, I did not. Now I gotta go see it. Now I gotta go see it. Now I gotta, Kalisha moving up. Okay, I'm sitting here doing YouTube videos. She's doing whole old interviews. I don't like it. I need to be there too. Bring me with me. Take me with you. Take me with you, Kalisha. Take me with you. So y'all. That's the show. So good. So amazing. How do you ask for a sample? Yo, can I get some of that? Boom. Yo, you know that's that stuff that comes out at the end when we have sex. Uh, can I can you say something for me? I just want to put it in the bag, bring it to the doctor. Nothing big. Nothing big. Nothing big. Nothing big. Can I just have a little bit of that? <laughs> Somebody said too much. Y'all, but that's what she's asking. Like, literally in the show, she was like, you know, women, we, we have too much time and we really have to think about our eggs, you know. That's how she talked, y'all. I wish I was joking, but she talked like that. Oh my God, you are, we, uh, we have to really prioritize about. So, can I just get a little bit? She wants some sperm. She wants some sperm. She wants his sperm specifically. And to be honest, I ain't mad at you, girl. And I'll do it the natural way if I was you. I'll do it the natural way if I was you. That's all I'm saying, because the man look good. I'll do it the natural way if I was you. Let's do round two, like round one, round two. And then, okay, okay, and then, 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 okay. So, y'all, y'all, it was really good. The show is amazing. Again, we are going to be reviewing. Let me put it up. Y'all, Bell Collector, Bell Collector. Do y'all want to see the, um, the ad again? Because someone has already given me a super chat. Oh, I got two super chats today. Three super chats. So y'all, they're gonna give me a copyright for that claim. You might as well go with it. Um, y'all wanna go? Y'all wanna see it again? Do y'all wanna see it again? So we can watch it again. Okay, let's watch it. 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 Um, but it's Bell Collective. Hold on, hold on, y'all. It's Bell Collective. They already gave me a copyright claim, so ain't, ain't much I can really do already. And y'all already gave me a super chat, so I'm working off the money y'all give. I don't need these look. No, I say that. I'm on there. I'm on there. Um, the platform. All right, y'all ready? 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 Okay. Look, 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 look. Y'all look, look, look. Oh, that's the voice <clears throat> Ooh, is that what I need to do? Let me speed up the voices. Boom. I'm going to do one five and I'm going to put the captions on for y'all, okay? Let's do one five. All right, y'all ready? All right. <clears throat> So y'all, this is it. Okay. Uh, uh yo, thank you so much, Lynn. Yo, shout out to Lynn. Yo, I'm gonna need it because they, they may catch me. They called me last time. They may catch me again, right? They got they got me on notice. They got me on notice. All right, Lynn, I'm gonna move your thing right now. Ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? No. Okay. Right. My computer messed up for a second. Hold on, y'all. That's going so fast. I can't even keep up. Okay, let's just try a one, two, five. <laughs> okay, let's start this again. Black women can't have it all. We're on a rise. We have so many successful black businesses. We represent Jackson, Mississippi. I am a multi-millionaire. 
multi-million dollar business owner. I'm rich. I am a full-time on-air radio personality. Thank you so much. I am opening up my own practice in a male-dominated field. I'm buying a block back, and we're going to revitalize this area. I am the owner of Goddess Wentz Emergent Care. We're at level 1,000 when it comes to hair. You think you're making millions. It's going to be billions. I have a husband. We've gone through infidelity. Are you being good? What's wrong with putting on the apron while I'm trying to get this up off the ground for up? This is the divorce court. Divorce court! This hair is garbage. I'm not gonna have to give this some answers. You're surfing that all the same place. You selling this type of product? This is a bull. I ain't asking you to wind the diamond. I can take care of my own. Do your hair shit. Any given moment, he may jump shit off of that. Basically, another surgery. Yes. That's okay. I told you about your hair. I'm number one. Friday, January 15th, 10, 9 Central. Y'all, y'all excited? Are y'all excited? Y'all, I'm telling y'all. Somebody said, so Educated Queen said, what type of, so it is premiering January 5th on all TV network. Y'all, I'm going to be watching it and, and nothing less. Educated Queen said, what kind of weave is that? You know whose weave that was? They said that was the weave that you can get from the bubblegum machine. The one that um Latrice Rogers makes. Remember Latrice Rogers? That's the one that comes from the bubblegum machine. The bubblegum machine girl. It's the bubblegum machine girl. She makes that weave. It's called Goddess Weaves or something like that. The bubblegum machine girl. The bubblegum machine girl. The ones that you can get next to the sodas. That's the one Latrice makes. If you go to your local grocery and bar, um, and mall is right next to the hot Cheetos. Um, and the Pepsi machine, you can get your soda, hot chips, and Mountain Dew, and you get your weed. It's right next to that one. That's what the bubblegum machine girl It's the gut. It's the bubblegum machine. Um, we don't watch it again. I have gotten obsessed with this trailer. I'm so excited about the show. All right, I'm gonna slow it. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it up this speed. Y'all like the this speed? Let's do it. 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 Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? I'm so excited. All right, Palace Bug. I'm gonna move it. She said that we was beautiful, girl. She said it was tacky at the end. She said she couldn't curl it. She said it was something about the curl. She said she couldn't curl it. All right, you ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Oh. 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 She's rich. Oh, we can go through each one. Yo, okay. I don't know why I didn't think of this. We can go through each one, okay? So let's go through each one of them, right? So this one right here. This one, she sell the bubblegum bundles. This one sell the bubblegum bundles. Okay. So this is the one that they was talking about in the beginning. She or at the end. This one right here, her name is Latrice Rogers. She sells the bubblegum bundles. Okay. Um, so when they talk about all this that's gonna be happening with the hair, it's her business. Now, her hair look good here. I gotta tell her, it looks silky, silky and it looks smooth. I gotta get a girl all that. And I really do love her. I love her theatrics, everything about it. Yes, 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 yes. Um, but she's the one who sells the bubblegum bundles, okay? That's so this is the women. Her name is this is Marie. Oh, as y'all can see on the screen. Marie is the one that um her son punched a hole in the wall and her husband went to Aruba. And she's taking care of all of the kids while everybody's gone. I don't like that. I'm just telling y'all what, what the story is. 
This one right here is the one who opened up mental health facilities and her son punched a hole in the wall because he was angry and her husband went to Aruba without her and he'd been there for three weeks. For three weeks. That's what, this is what she said to us, okay? This is what she said to us. She opened up mental health facilities and her son is punching holes in the wall because he's so angry and her husband is going to Aruba without her for three weeks, okay? Next person. Business owner, I'm rich. I am a full-time on air radio person. This is Tamra. Now, I don't I don't live there, and I don't live, I don't listen to hip hop and radio stations like that because I don't listen to the radio. Um, I am a I listen to podcasts all the time, especially my favorite murder. Shout out to my favorite murder. Um, she's an on-air personality. This man is fine, and the waves on swim, so they hate on him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Waves on swim, so they hate on him. Y'all see that? And a little bit of am I getting? Is it hot in here? Is it hot in here? Um, he looked mad. He looked upset. Is it hot in here, y'all? Okay, so whoa. Uh, but. She's an on-air personality who froze her eggs and told her ex-boyfriend and asked her ex-boyfriend for some sperm. This is this one is the one who is 40 years old. She froze her eggs and now she asked her ex-husband, can I have some of your sperm? Okay? This, is, this one is the one. Her name is Tamara. She said, excuse me, can you Give me some of your sperm. She doesn't have any kids. She's a radio personality. She said, can I have some of your sperm to her ex? Okay? That's what her, this her. Thank you so much. I am opening up my own. So this is Antoinette. I like her spirit. Hold on. This is Antoinette. Doctor. Doctor. This is Doctor Antoinette. I like her. Really, 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 really like her. Dr. Antoinette. Dr. Antoinette says she's the one who's going to be paying for everybody's school and this and that. Da, da, da. She also the one who's single and she went on that fine date with David. Okay, that fine, that fine date with David. She's trying to get over her um, issues of being divorced. Y'all, this scratched out her husband. And every, when I say he said, y'all not putting me in the show, He's seen nowhere. But she's the one who goes on that fine date with David. I just like her spirit. She's going to give me the Cynthia Bailey of the show. I don't know how long she'll last, but I want her to. Because I really, really do love her spirit. It's very calming. But in some of the things, she does give me shade. So we'll see. I'm buying a block back. And we're going to revitalize. Letitia is the one who does the women eat together um, business. Letitia does the business where very innovative, very new, where women sit down and eat food together. Her business is, this is the one with the business where all the people eat food together, okay? But she is trying to put together Fair Street and revitalize it and make it into another back to where it used to be. Black Wall Street, something like that. Uh, I love I love the concept. I love everything about it. What is this on her head? Y'all like this? What's going on? Now this lip looks good, but what is what's on her head? I don't know. Anyway, so this, this is, okay, y'all, let's move back just a little bit, because y'all haven't been able to see it. This is um, Latrice. This is the girl who does the bubblegum bundles, okay? So she do the bubblegum bundles. You can get the bundles at your, your nearest uh, Piggly Wiggly. You will be able to get these out the vending machine. It's right next to the red box. You can get your stuff. This is the girl who do the bubblegum bundles. Um, 
Her name is Latrice Rogers. Remember, this one is the girl who um, husband was trying to let her know, girl, those lips don't look good, and I don't want those models here. But she didn't want to listen to it, okay? But this is the one who does the bubblegum bundles, okay? Uh, somebody said it was a party city week. It looked a mess, Michelle. It looked a mess. It looked a whole mess, okay? It was synthetic, girl. <laughs> and indeed it was. Indeed it was. That thing was nasty, okay? What was that on top of her head? But y'all, let's go to the um virgin hair bar. What that mean? But y'all, let's go to Latrice. She do the bubblegum bundles. She do the bubblegum bubble. That, she said that you can as easily accessible. Y'all talking about me about the piggly wiggly. She said, she said that these are now easily accessible. You can get a down to your nearest corner store. Yo, let me get a hot Cheetos and then can I get a corner on the way out so I can get me a bag of bundles? That's what I'm talking about. Somebody said it's a shake and go. I'm not dealing with the internet today. She said, you get a free Dr. Pepper, okay? A amen. I'm so mad at the shake and go. I'm done. Unfortunately, this week I have... No, no shake and goes. All right, y'all. So, I got to run, y'all. Have a good night. Everyone have a safe and happy new year. Oh, we love you. Put your music in the comments. All right. So, let's finish it. Let's finish it, y'all. Let's finish it. Because I can get off air. Because like, I have to pack. I'm probably going to do all of this in the morning and then stress bay out like I normally do. This went from urgent care. We're at level 1,000 when it comes to hair. I tell, I, but I'll tell you this. Let me tell you something. You may be buying your bundles from a bubblegum machine, the bubblegum machine, the bubblegum bundles, but look at this acting. I really wish this was really clear, but I don't. I'm not a woman. I don't make clothes and I don't wear clothes on um, women clothes, clearly. Um, so I don't know if this needs to be like, it keeps everything together. But look at the drama. Look at the drama, y'all. Look at the drama. Is this sequence? Is this sequence? Look at the drama. Look at the drama. Look at the detail. Everything about it. Look at these earrings. Just everything about everything that she has on, I stand. I'm gonna have to get a girl that. I go. I I have to give her. All of this is a look, a look. I tell you one thing. God did what He was supposed to do when He said, "Busy Blue cannot be a girl," because I would I would be this dramatic. All this, all of this is this is the thing. Just I love every scene, everything about it. Somebody says she looks like cupcake. She does kind of look like Cupcake. Oh, you said a uh, Cupcake. I thought you meant the rapper. I could kind of see her looking like Cupcake. I hate this shit. I hate this shit, too. Um, not it. I'm so mad at her for the... I found the read. But I like it, y'all. Y'all trying to say y'all don't like this? Look, 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 look. The drama. I, I don't know. Y'all whack. Y'all whack. Y'all whack. All right. Making millions. It's gonna be billions. I have a husband. We've gone through and a husband. Yo. Have... Hold on, y'all. So this the friend. We're making millions. It's gonna be billions. So this the friend who told her, girl, your husband is cheating on you and he is in Aruba without you for three weeks. Love yourself enough. Love yourself enough to go and move on. And let's be clear. I also think, Marie, you need to move on. You need to move on. You need to move on. This is the friend who let her know. Get you a friend that don't got no lips like this because they're going to tell you the truth. Get you a friend that don't got no lips like this because they're going to tell you the truth. See how she pursed her lips like, mm -hmm. get you a friend with no lips just like this. You are mega late. I just said you said I just. And why you don't have no shirt on? You about to be single too. Everybody can get broken up with. I don't like how he was trying to come in here and show y'all his body, and that belongs to me. Kind of. It's his. But anyway, she is a real friend. She was telling her, look, 
Girl, I know I don't have no lips, but Drew don't have a husband either. Not the way he acted. That's what I'm saying. So y'all, you ready? So this is the this is the husband, y'all. This the man who come for 28 days and then he go back to work. This is the one who he be leaving for 28 days. Then he come back two weeks and he's up on some. I gotta put on an apron because you're not giving me no yams in the kitchen, no yams in the bedroom. That's what he said, y'all. He said, no yams in the kitchen, no yams in the bedroom. This is the husband. Little boozy cousin, this is him. This little boozy cousin, um, this is what he said. Little boozy cousin said that. Don't he look guilty, y'all? This is the one who be out for 28 days. Again, if you if it's um, Black History Month, he missed the whole thing. Little boozy cousin um, said, look, I got to be going for all these years. Maybe cheating on you, possibly. But now I also gotta feed myself. I don't like it. I don't. I, I just don't like it. So this little bo little boozy cousin, this her husband. Why her hair always look bad, yo? What was this on her head? What was this? Let me move so the thing can move. What is that? And it look a little high, unless her head not shaped right. Little boozy cousin, you need to be telling her more. Say, pat that down or that. I don't like it anyway. Come on, divorce. So y'all see, this is what I'm talking about. Those spirits. So this her, this Marie, the one who husband is uh, in Aruba for three weeks without her and her son. Is punching holes in the wall and she's taking care of a million kids that's not hers. Now she's sitting here attacking bubblegum bundles. I don't like how she's sitting here attacking bubblegum bundles and because you need to get your house in order. First of all, you can't come up in here with these finger waves. Do, 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 do. Okay, with these finger looking like Nia Long from Friday, the first Friday. And she is attacking the bubblegum bundle lady. So she, uh, what she said was she bought a lace front from the bubblegum bundles, right? Then she tried to put it together. She said it was garbage. I saw it here first. Garbage. What? Somebody. And why is Eve here? Why is Eve here or Tiana Taylor? Why are they in the show? And why have they not been promoting it? I don't like that. What? Somebody gonna have to be missing answers. Oh, damn. You're certainly not all going to the same place. You selling this type of product? This is some old. I ain't actually winding down, man. I can take from my own. Do your fair shit. Let me give it my money. He made jump shield. Basically, another surgery. Y'all, don't he look like Terrence Howard if Terrence Howard got older? When? I keep killing this man Don't he look like Terrence Howard older? Or at least Terrence Howard daddy? What y'all think? What y'all think? Don't y'all think that he look like Terrence Howard daddy? Terrence Howard or Terrence Howard daddy? At least that's why I just screamed. He look like Terrence Howard, Terrence, Terrence Howard daddy. Okay, don't he look like him? Am I the only person who's seeing this? <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. But I think that he looks like him. She said no. Y'all don't think if Terrence, what about if Terrence Howard had a stepdad? I don't know. To me, he looked like Terrence Howard gained him by the way. Oh no, he was working on something. He broke his nail. Oh, and those bruises be hurting, y'all. I know how those feel. All right, y'all ready? Basically, another surgery. Yes. I'm talking about your birthday. That's okay. I'm talking about your hair. 
Yo, now let's be clear. Look, she needed it pulled up. She needed it pulled up. And I hate to, I hate to do it. I hate to do it. But she needed a little tuggerization because she needed y'all see this space. She needed just pulled up just a little bit. Now her lip look good. That's a beautiful lip. But y'all, what's that space she had? Y'all see the space? What's that? What's that space she had in the needle? You need a good friend who'll be like, girl, come here. Just a little. Let me just shift it just a little bit like Sheree said. I wasn't trying to take it off. I was just trying to shift it a little bit, okay? She needed a little shifterization. Girl, this is bad. And no friend would ever have you come outside looking like that. Look at all this. That's not cute. Mm-mm. Mm -hmm. Drag me money. No, they're not gonna fight. They're not their friends. So she and you we see the episode, we see parts of it in the show. She was just pulling it up for her. Cause it was just like, girl, you missed a spot. You you miss you missed a spot right here. This spot right here. You missed that. Yeah, and I'm gonna help you out because I'm a good friend. Overall, I think the show is going to be a smash hit. I think it's going to be a smash hit, and I am here. I'm living for it. I'm excited about it. Are y'all excited about the new website, y'all? I mean, y'all not going to get that. Um, y'all excited about the new show? I'm excited about it. Yo, uh, first of all, thank you to everybody who's already given, like, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, who already gave a um, super sticker or super chat because I know they're going to find a way to flag it. I sped it up like I said to do. I sped it up. But the girls like to flag you, okay? So uh, shout out to everybody who gave a super sticker, super chat. It's still the way we're going to make money for it. I can't believe they got me from the last one. But y'all, are y'all excited about it? I'm really excited about the show. Like, I'm extremely excited about the show. Maybe what I'll do, and I'm going to think about it long and hard. I've been thinking about starting a Patreon. Y'all, and don't take this for, don't, you know, don't think I'm actually going to do this, but. I've been thinking maybe I'll start a Patreon and then we can watch it together and then we can talk about it. Carlos King does no wrong at all, ever, 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 ever. Carlos King, can I eat you? Um, I'm really excited about it, y'all. Are y'all excited about the show? I'm really excited about it. Who do y'all think is going to be your favorite character? So put it in the comments. Now that we don't go through the whole thing. Oh, shout out to everybody who's been rocking with me throughout this whole entire time. Y'all the real MVPs. Y'all, who do y'all think is going to be the stars of the show? Who y'all going to like the most, right? I think I'm going to like the Bubblegum Bundle Girl. Because I feel like she's going to have some conflict. Y'all know I definitely do love Doctor. The Doctor. Answer that. I'm not going to like watching Marie's story. I, I just, I don't know about Marie's story. I feel like she's going to send me, she's going to give me so I don't know. Marie going to give me some. I'm going to be bad. I'm going to be really upset with Marie. So I don't know. Tambra. <sighs> Who y'all excited about? When would it be on finals? Because it's not even on YouTube. I don't know. Girl, I don't know. I wish I could tell you. It's on YouTube TV. It's on YouTube TV. I'm excited. I think Marie's story is too much. I'm thinking about the DJ might be fun. The DJ is going to be fun, but can you listen to her for an hour? I'm just saying. Can you listen to her for an hour? I mean, I guess people do. She says she's one of the hottest DJs. I'm excited about bubblegum bundles. Y'all excited about bubblegum bundles? Hashtag bubblegum bundle lady. I'm excited about the bubblegum bundle lady. Um... So, yeah, I told you I would come back and talk about this. I do have to pack. We got to get ready. I'm not going to be packing anything tonight. And Bay knows that. I'm going to eat and sit down. 
And then I'm going to wake up early in the morning and stress and get everything done early in the morning, like I always do. If y'all want to know more about me and everything else going on, you can find me on Instagram and on Twitter, busy with no space. Well, first of all, make sure you get ready to watch Bell Collective coming on own. Um, ask your cable service, why it's not here, girl? Or you can look at it on YouTube TV. January 15th, Busy Blue will be reviewing it. I had no choice. I ain't got no choice because the Bubblegum Bundle Lady let, made me have to, okay? But please make sure you watch it so, so we can do this together. Y'all, let's do it together. And then I want Carlos King. I'm manifesting. In 2021, Carlos King is going to not only like my stuff on YouTube and retweet me, he's going to talk to me. 2021, he's going to talk to me. And he's going to say, yo, don't you want to work for me? That's going to be in 2022. That's too early. But I'm going to be able to get him on this channel. That's I'm manifesting it right now, y'all. Manifest it. Pray for it. Carlos King is going to talk to me. And he's going to be on this channel to talk about the show. Manifesting it. Boom. I'll put it out on there in the universe. Y'all, if you want to know more about me, you can find me on Instagram, and on Twitter, Busy Blue on Space. No, you can also find me on face, uh, Facebook, the Busy Blue, where you get semi non exclusive content. Um, I'm gonna have fun with the show. I'm really, really excited about it. Um, I hope they can take a joke because I love the ladies. If I'm not talking about you, I don't like you. Okay. Um, especially Bubblegum Bundles because I love her. I love Bubblegum Bundles. Um, January 15th, the show starts. If I don't talk to y'all until 2021. I want to say happy new year to you, your family, um, your loved ones. Put your bees in the comments for yourself. I really, really appreciate all of y'all for rocking with me. I'm excited about this television show. I'm about to go get busy and you guys stay busy.